Rough Points started in Dublin in 2007 and it was really us looking at jazz across Europe. We wanted to get a, um, an understanding of music that was happening right across Europe. We knew that there was a lot of interesting developments happening, but we weren't connected to that. So one of the key things with 12 Points is community. Over the course of four days we want artists and delegates to come together and uh, obviously there is one performance but there is so much more to the festival. You know there are jam sessions, there is the nightly networking dinners and what we want to create is a, is a family, uh, a community over, over four days um, and it's a little bit different than a, than a number of festivals because you know, there's a model of fly in, perform and, and leave and we, we're trying to kind of slow that down and, and really uh, capitalise on the opportunity. And in terms of future editions, you know, we will continue to move around Europe. We, we want to expand the 12 Points family um, and uh, we want to sort of bring these artists to as many audiences across Europe as we can. already you know I talk a lot with my colleague programmers here and you know we talk about the bands and you know we just had um, uh, this duo playing and there was already a promoter telling me yeah I think it's a good idea I want to book it in a festival and uh, yesterday I talked to another programmer and you know I hear all these stories about programmers looking for bands and already saying that they have ideas that they want to book the bands It's a fantastic festival because you can listen to very interesting music made by uh, young musicians and, and, and uh, really hope that they have a career I mean, after this, this festival. to be part of 12 Points as an artist uh, and then to spend time with people and to kind of share where we are and what we're thinking. It's a beautiful place to play and to kind of share in this model of a festival which is really exciting and that's kind of the future of festivals I think.